Hello, Mr. Moderator, dear participants. My name is Maxim Sitnikov, and I'm representing Open Dialogue Foundation, as well as coalition of more than 10 organizations from Kazakhstan, the EU, and the US called Activists Not Extremists. We regularly inform the international community about violations of international human rights and rule of law obligations uh, in the post-Soviet area, Poland and Hungary. Uh, to begin with, I would like to say that digital tools are very important for public participation in democratic lawmaking. But when it comes to uh, authoritarian countries and regimes such as Kazakhstan, Belarus, Russia, where the lawmaking is a facade behind which hides the decision of the dictator, any attempt to influence such decision may lead to many problems, including real imprisonment or political killing. A digital space in such countries is neither free nor secure. The authorities invent special tools to narrow the possibilities of the society to use the internet, uh, the only source of information and participation in the legislative process. One of examples are national security certificates in Kazakhstan, developed by the National Security Committee under the pretext of security of, net, of internet users. Uh, such companies as uh, Apple, Google, Microsoft, Mozilla, have united to block the security certificate because it is used by intelligence agencies for traffic control and persecution of opponents. Instead of an inclusive approach, uh, the parliaments of Russia, Belarus and Kazakhstan agree on total internet blocking, especially on protest days and elections. Uh, blocking access to social media like Twitter, Facebook or YouTube, excluding public debate. Usually such censorship is covered up by regimes with so-called protection from extremist content. So our recommendations for the OSC in cooperation with the civil society, opposition and government's representatives should develop a clear definition of extremism to establish mechanism at the international level to exclude the abuse of extremist legislation blockage of social media and make possible the process of lawmaking inclusive. And the second point, uh, parliaments uh, and governments in OSC countries that have adopted global laws and regimes to impose personal sanctions on human rights violators should establish a transparent online procedure for civil society to submit candidates to sanction lists and to be able to receive a reasoned response if candidates are rejected. Uh, thank you for your attention. Thank you very much for your comments and the concrete recommendation and for reminding us how new technologies can also be used um, to undermine participation uh, if not well designed.